This is great, Your Holiness. I can see you now, spreading your message of self-love on Oprah. Oprah! He's finally here for the first time on The Oprah Show. Welcome, Guru Pika! Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Mariska Hagate, thank you for the gift of water. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. <laughs> I find your work really inspiring. I actually went to one of your sutras after my father passed away. I'm sorry to hear about your father. Have you read my book on the grieving process? It's called, What's This? I did one of these. Yes. Oh, you have? I especially like the chapter it might just be sleeping. My favorite. I've read all your books. <laughs> oh, wow. To tell you the truth, I kind of have a schoolgirl crush. Oh, really? What does your husband think about this crush? I'm not married. Boyfriend? Nope. Girlfriend? <laughs> well, I mean, there was one time in college. Really? What was that? I didn't hear anything. Well, it's hard to believe a girl like you can't find a man. What does that mean, a girl like me? Well, come on, I don't have words for it, you know. Uh, nice girl, intelligent, bedroom eyes, pouty lips, great rack, tight bell-shaped ass, thicker than a snicker. Say. My problem with men is the Bullard curse. What's a Bullard curse? My father, Hank Bullard, bought the Leafs in 1967, and we haven't won a Stanley Cup since. So all the men in the city blame me and my family. Well, as I write in my book, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Why are you still hitting yourself? I explain that people may say bad things about you, but you must never say bad things about yourself. Hmm. I see someone who's ready for change. It would just be easier to change if I didn't have to deal with the city that hates me. Jane, the city of Toronto doesn't hate you. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, uh, no, they don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. Oh, no, they don't. Trust me. At the arena, I had maintenance paint lines to show me where the crowd can't see me. They don't boo me and throw stuff at my head. Oh. I mean, I didn't even ask for this job. I guess it's just my fate. Fate is a joke. And as I once read on a wall in a truck stop bathroom in Barstow, the joke is in your hands. <laughs> oh my God, I just got that. Oh, <laughs> well, to be more accurate, the joke was in Rajneesh's hands. <laughs> what? Nice shooting! I am His Holiness, the Guru Pitka. Look, man, just get back on your pillow, all right? Ain't no connection between my love life and my hockey. Oh, I'm not here to work with you. I just came by to say hello and goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah. I spoke with your wife, Prudence. She broke it off with Grande, and now she wants you back. Seriously? Sure, you don't need me. Go back to what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> There is one other thing. I lied. Prudence is still with Jacques Grande and he still has the biggest wiener in hockey. Oh. Ooh, ow. Is it true? Yes, he has a ginormous hog. Do you still think there is no connection between Prudence and how crappy you are playing? Tell me this, do you want Prudence back? Of course I do. Then I need you to write Prudence an apology letter and I will go deliver to her. 
And all bids for connection count. What if it doesn't work? I can always refund your misery. <laughs> I was ominous just then. <laughs> <laughs> Grande is not going to like you talking to Prudence. I know, but I must deliver this apology letter to her. Do you think Grande saw us? Of course not, Rajneesh. We are completely hidden by this bush. This may go badly. Keep the elephant running. While I do your calves, I'd like to sing a song by the greatest singer ever from Quebec, Miss Celine Dion. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my voice when I couldn't speak. You were my eyes. You saw the best there was in me. Because you love me. That was beautiful. And now, I'd like to show my love by making for you a Quebec pizza. What's that? Pop tart with the ketchup. She's good. Guru Pika? What, what happened to you? Nothing. Why do you ask? We've not much time. I have an apology letter from Darren. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I got attacked by a rooster, so, you know, yeah. So he writes one stupid note and you expect me to take him back? Perhaps I can change him. Bing bong. Did someone order the special Quebec pizza, eh? Uh, you know, like in the porno. Who is this in my house? Whoa! Looks like he's smuggling a schnauzer. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you how. Down, boy. <laughs> Read the letter. Mm. Nice place, eh? Yeah. And I got there cheap. So, it's an honor to have you here in my house, Guru Pitka. I think you are an amazing guru and... Hey, mister. What did you do to my rooster? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stay away from my girlfriend! <laughs> the Wolverine. <laughs> don't look at me with that tone of voice or high punch you hit the shirt! Okay, gotta go. Beat it, I gotta take a dump. Tabernak! <laughs> Hello, superstar. Welcome to my new Toronto ashram. Oh, Uncle Jack. Can I get a hand getting off this elephant? Darren, if your Uncle Jack helped you off an elephant, would you help your Uncle Jack off an elephant? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny of you? <laughs> I don't know where I get it. Oh. So did you give Prudence my apology?